ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what, sip and walk. What up, man? It's John. It's your boy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. Man, I gotta say, okay, it's been an eventful weekend for Arlington. Um, this is probably my favorite, I mean, literally my favorite Supercross track. Um, and it's, maybe it's not, you know, it's not because I top qualified in amateurs, right? It's not because I made it to the main event and got sixth place. It's not because Austin Forkner literally <sighs> crapped the bed, dude. I'm so mad at Forkner, all right? I, I literally had high hopes for him winning the whole season, and he just just does that to me. But we're here on the KTM 250. Um, I've been really loving this this bike. Unfortunately, when I posted uh, my recap of Friday for amateurs, the 4K processor just would not upload and it's still broken. So L to that. But I thought that was really awesome to just see like qualifying in my heat race, and then from there. But we're here in Blazed. MX Deddy, this is always a W. Thank you for always hosting. I'm just going to take it nice and easy around here. I don't know if we have anybody crazy up in here, but it should be a fun time. I'm just going to go ahead and cut down off that one. Okay, tried to cut down. Go double in, triple. Maybe we can maneuver through that. I'm surprised my bike did not go down here. But Council Cups today, um, you guys will be seeing this Monday, and I'm just super excited. I know that Argentina's tomorrow. I should have been doing, wait a second. This is easy mode. Should have been doing something for MXGP. Okay. But um, unfortunately, I just didn't feel like it, man. I'm not going to lie. Also, today's my birthday, or the 25th is my birthday. Not today, but um, yeah, man. I'm super excited, man. Kelso Cup, my birthday. It's just everything Everything about this weekend was absolutely amazing, dude. Kind of just my own little birthday presents and, and stuff like that. And just a W community behind all of it as well. We're at 6,500 subs. I can't thank you guys enough for that as well. Holy cow. Moving up pretty quick in the ranks. And um, yeah, it's going to keep grinding it out for you. Shouldn't have went down the third gear there. Probably got more pop. But um, yeah, man, this track flows amazing. Like, I hit a 49 also for my first time ever. I hit a 49 7, 792, .792 or whatever. So that was really cool to know that I can at least get sub 50 or sub, yeah into this 49 so that was fun now it's going to be working on trying to get that 48 which i think it's in the whoops it's definitely in the whoops and then on top of that uh i don't know i think it's just scrubbing harder or staying low because some of these dude some of these things like poppy pretty high in the air and i just got to be able to handle it what's up frank but so far man i can't get off this ktm dude this thing literally top quality me, and I just think it's buffed, man. I was on the Husqvarna for a very long time, had to part ways, and I just think I knew why. It was just like nothing beats this power band. So if you can really understand this power band to the bike, I think you're chilling like a villain on penicillin, baby, not robbing or stealing. Oh, gosh. Up and under. Yo, that was so sick. That was so sick. Unfortunately, I could not get a good wrap around to get into that triple because of that but that was actually pretty sick we got some pretty good racing right now and fun stuff i'm trying to make it into or stay in top 10 i think i'll be fine with that but yeah these whoops man i feel like i feel like i had them completely down packed during qualifying and then also during uh heat race and as soon as i got to the main dude i just like literally lost control like i was like what is happening like for four straight laps i could not get to the whoops so it dropped me back pretty far, but I was happy with a sixth place. I feel like if I would have been able to do the whoops, I probably would have had a fighting chance for a podium. I'm not mad at it, honestly. You know, it was a fun overall, and I did top quality. I guess I haven't even said that. I, I top quality for amateurs with a 50.068. So I was close to already hitting a 49 for that lap. So I knew I had the 49 in, in me. It was just about hitting the right stuff and obviously getting over that. I needed, I needed to, like, stay fourth gear to jump over and then immediately go down to... Uh, third gear going on top of that unfortunate let's go triple in i'll take that triple c bounce triple out i think the double I, it's a stretch for a 250 but it's so worth it if you can hit it but i think the double triple triple is so fun in that little section instead of doing triple triple double but either way is not like pot terrible oh my god i thought i was about to get waxed right there and then also i know you could jump over that table and then you could double out instead of singling out which also is a really good line um it's just hard about hitting consistently and i just don't know if it's wow that was insane i'm gonna get 
Unfortunate, dude. Unfortunate. It's like he saw me coming, too. It's like he saw me coming. That sucks, dude. Gosh. Gotta play catch up again. Here we go. Gotta play catch up again. It's just... Uh, I've been messing up on my own account, which is completely fine. There we go. Third gear. So that's what I've been doing wrong as well. Just going fourth gear instead of third. But now we have that down pack. Just simple mistakes like that is uh, what's kind of holding me back from getting to that next level. Um, a lot of people's been talking like, oh, you should have went, like, just because you had that qualifying time, I should have went to pros. And it's, like, not about the fastest lap that I ran. It's about, like, your race craft. And, like, I feel like I start off pretty, pretty freaking great, actually. Um, wow, was I literally in first gear? Ha, ah, dude, what is happening? Go, Keegan. Oh, is that a freaking 450? I'll have to accept it. I have to accept the charges. Keegan's out here getting active, like, 30 seconds ahead of everybody. 47s and a race, race pace. Um... That being said, though, uh, yeah, I know. It's just like I think I start off really great. I have really great knowledge of bobbing and weaving through there. It's just about the, the the late game that I keep having trouble with, if that makes any sense. Like, I'll literally go late game, and I just can't seem to put it back together. Like, I think I made it all the way up to first place in the heat race, and then literally halfway through, I just messed up. Like, I, it dropped me down. I mean, I still got second. It just dropped me down. It was like, oh, okay. You know, and it's just like, did I even need to like make those mistakes or should I have just like held out? So I think that's what I definitely need to work on is just late game consistency and I'll be just fine. And I don't even think I'm getting razzle dazzled or like rattled. I think it's just like me in my own head. Like, I don't know, but just that I know that's for sure what I need to work on. So as soon as I can work on that, I think I'll be just fine, honestly. But until then, we just have to let it go. But. See if we can go catch the next person in front of us. I have not yet tried also a 450. I haven't actually got on any 450s this whole time. Uh, the reason being said is just I really do enjoy the 450 power. I just know if I if I taste that power, I'm going to want to continue riding it. No way homie retired after that. What was that? He like literally disappeared in front of me. But yeah, I don't know. I, I really do want to try it, but... I want to get master the craft in 250s. I don't think I'm even ready or fully capable of doing 250 life. Like, why go up there yet? So, and I'm really happy to see. Wow, that was almost a front tuck and a half. I'm really happy to see all my progress through the 250s. I should say as well, because shoot, man, like going back to like before even Supercross started, dude, I was like completely terrible at this game for Supercross, and I think Supercross is literally the pinnacle of this game. So. Knowing Supercross could like literally benefit you in so many different ways of MXGP, motocross. I gotta love it, dude. But all in all, Daytona next week, I think that's gonna be fun and exciting. I feel like I definitely have the speed to qualify for pro. It's just, it's just, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like take it in a futures, take it in futures, right? Like Dax and Pinnick and all that, you know, like they were in futures and I felt like I feel like if you take it in that same category, they're actually ready for the next step of pro. But like, why, 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 why do it if you don't need to? You know, why move up if you don't need to? If you know you need that extra practice, and I think that's me personally. Like, I'm not doubting myself saying that I can't, you know, continue to play the game or progress into the next level. I just, I just know that if I, I just know if I go to the next level, I'm literally ruin, like ruining my chances. Oh my gosh! Thank you. I think I'm just ruining my chances of continuing, like, getting the most progression out of what I'm doing now, you know? And that's the whole thing with amateurs is for... Oh, come on, man! Why is my bike so fragile? Why is my bike so fragile? Dang it, dude. Anyways, with that being said... Uh... I'm not mad. I'm not... <laughs> I hope that goes to show if you guys are still watching. I'm not mad at any of this, but it's just, like, simple annoying things like that. It's just like, bro, come on. You know what I mean? Like, that was me. I was deserved. Well deserved. But, oh well. Got another race coming up. Last lap cheese. Actually, I've already been lapped, so this is the last lap. And this guy doesn't know what blue flag means, so you have to be cautious and careful with that. Unless he does know. I don't know, but I don't know. So we'll see, but first race, uh, I'll take a seventh with a lot of 450s in here. I felt like I had a pretty good consistency. Now I know what I did wrong in the first one over here at fourth gear, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know this is like a few hours <laughs> past what I made my first uh, side of this video is, but I decided to go back in the same lobby just a couple hours after Kelso Cup. Uh, I got my boy Blaze and Jit up in here. You guys go ahead and say what's up. 
Yeah, what yeah, up, yeah, what yeah, up? Yeah. I just thought I'd get a second race in. Jet's not racing, but I know Blaze or Dylan is. I'm sorry, excuse me. Dylan is, and I'm a little drunk, so we're sipping on that Corona, and, you know, I just want to get active, man. It's my birthday. I'm getting crazy. And I just appreciate everybody also coming out for Council Cup. This is also my little thankful. So if you guys made it this far, appreciate that. Also hit that like button, subscribe button. Let's get into race two, finally. Holy cow, holy smokes. It's been like literally five hours. I'm not gonna lie. Since I like literally went to the first one, so. Jit, I mean, uh, Dylan, I'm not gonna lie. You hitting first place in amateurs was absolutely amazing, dude. Dude, that was my luckiest ride ever. Really? I think I, think I would have been at least podium if I wouldn't have, if I would, oh gosh, oh gosh, if I, if I wouldn't have uh, literally messed up for the first four like rounds, I mean first laps I should say, I literally would have probably at least got a podium, but I just couldn't make it through the whoops for some reason, it was so weird. Yeah, the whoops are, these are the hardest whoops I think the entire year so far. Yeah, like literally, literally the track's not like super hard, yeah, gosh dude, I'm literally getting thrown apart, and thrown left and right man. But it's not that like they're super hard. It's just like being able to understand like how to get through them a lot. And so far in the last five hours, I've realized that if I sit down and stand back up, I'm pretty good. So I'm gonna just start doing that. But so, other than that, I ran a 49.7 today. I don't know if you yeah. ran. A, I don't know if you ran a 49 yet. Have you? But on Arlington? A couple. Uh, yeah, on Arlington. I don't remember when I did that. Like, I literally have a smaller than a 49 actually in me. I just got to be able to, you know, scrub a little bit harder and clear up, clean up some stuff. But it was actually quad? pretty nice. Yeah, I, get, I, I was hitting the quad. That's what gave me the 50. That's what gave me the 50.68 for top quality. I had the quad over. Okay. Or whatever, over the table at least. But... Yeah, definitely that sit down does help out a lot. As long as you keep the bike straight, we'll be straight. But I'll, I'll be fine with a top five right now, being a little drunk and being active. Like sometimes you ride better when you're drunk. Dude, it's for <laughs> real, bro. I don't know what it is. That's such a W. That also being said, if you guys don't know, the guy that literally creates my intros, that's Jit right there. His little... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a little freak. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> yeah, such a W guy, man. To be honest, man, Blaze is such a like a huge brother. part of like literally just having a good time over here. Like, I enjoy my team HSM. I enjoy like fusion racing and just like a really good chill time for me to like literally mellow out, feel like I, I feel like human again, to where like they don't treat me like a content creator. Definitely over here at uh, Blaze, so that'll be time, man. Oh yeah, everyone's family, baby. Heck yeah. Also, huge shout out to Bailey. I know he's not in here right now, my little Aussie brother. Unfortunately, he couldn't make the Kelso Cup tonight. Little GYD thing, but man, that's my dog, bro. Funny. Oi, oi, Kelso. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, Kelso. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I freaking love him, bro. He's funny. He was there in spirit. He was there in spirit for sure. Out here, freaking in what second place? I'm gonna try to cut up, come up to you. I had a pretty bad start. How do you think? How much harder do you think? I'm, dude, I'm on X Games mode right now. How much harder do you think it is to ride the track when you start talking? Like, probably for me, like twice as hard. I have to really try hard and like get cross side. <laughs> it's get active on that freaking monitor. Oh crap. Ah. Uh, uh. Wait a second, the Edemote! <laughs> oh, Easy Mode's been coming at me all day, bro. It's gotta be my birthday or something. Oh, wait, it is. Meow! I like it around here. Freaking Honda's trying to get active next to me, a nice little freaking Honda 450. I love that. Dude, I did not know the IRL side of that. You know, like that backside around the Supercross side? I mean, or the the finish. I mean, the start. I did not know that was actually going to be uh, IRL sand. Like, it. Do you think Stone Rider knew it was going to be sand, or was that like a last minute thing? I'm not sure how he does it, but it's pretty similar. Just like, like, like literally, it was full on sand curve. IRL, but then like, I mean, 
coming to here, it wasn't sand at all, so. I was just confused about that one. Just a bit. Wait, is it not sand? No, that's not sand, dude. We're literally, like, jumping into it to be able to quad over or, like, jump in, you know? Like, railing the outside. I, did, I just realized that. Now you pointed out. Yeah. There's no sand. No, it's not. And, like, I'm not, like, mad at him or anything, but it's just, like, it confused me. I was like, wait a second. This backside is literally, like, straight dirt. Like, it's not sand. Yeah. They must have added that, like, last sec. Literally had to. Man, I will say, riding drunk, man, I feel like I'm almost there, bro. It's like, like my conscience isn't as if like I'm thinking ten times a minute. I'm just like going with the flow. I like that. Jit, take notes. <laughs> Get loose with it. Get loose with this. Oh yeah. <laughs> I will say this is probably my my favorite track of the year though, 100. percent By far. Like, no, like, and I'm not saying that because I, yeah, I'm not saying that because you know I top quality or anything. You know, that's definitely not biased. But I'm just saying, like, honestly, I just felt like super flowy on this track, and I felt like it's just fun, dude. Because like you had to hit your marks. Like that, I think that's the biggest thing. Is like if it, if anything could help you, it's about hitting your marks and being consistent. Because if you're not consistent, you're not getting around the track perfectly fine and I think that's what I do enjoy about this track I think I think Detroit was just way too fast if that makes any sense oh yeah yeah Detroit was a really full time. Fast track. if you make like, a tiny mistake that's, that's like Dunzo right yeah and it's almost weird because it's almost like there's not too many different too many different spots of like being in timing zones because like 51s were the same thing to get you in for for there but i think people were, yeah i don't know I, I i feel like it's the exact same track just different layout but i definitely will say i enjoy i'm like literally gelling with this track way more i just wish we could clear that quad after the finish line and that'd be like it'd be perfect Oh yeah, dude, literally like 450s are the only people hitting it. Like you can't even stretch it. You're, like, there's no way a 250's hitting it. Yeah, it's hard on a 452. Oh. Wait, Dylan, how'd you fall back? Where are you at? There's no way I'm in second place right now. This has got to be a, a hoax. Oh! The fluke, it's a fluke. Made a couple mistakes. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll take it. I literally just riding the ride, bro. I'm like, I was literally like four seconds off from the leader. Holy cow. Yeah, I need whatever you're drinking. Corona, baby. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I do that, dude. I think it's just funny. <laughs> heard something about a furry. Never heard anything about that before. And then all of a sudden I realized. Never mind. No comment. No comment. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got to Yeah. Gotta let the alcohol simmer on that one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, actually, leader's down. Last lap cheese is getting real. It could potentially get Zanward. Zan goes down in the whoops. See you later. I'm drunk. You know the rules, baby. No time to hesitate. Jit, tell him now, baby. Wait, they're gonna eat him out. Oh, oh, what? Jit, you got you got your favorite e easy mode impression? I can't do it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you got your favorite easy mode? Yeah, wait, they can be emo. Emo. Yeah, W. This guy actually took the dub on that one. It's insane, bro. Let's go. 50.9, too? Yeah. Wait, what did I hit? 50.9. Oh, I'll take Corona. that. Let's go. Off the round skaters. <laughs> too easy, man. Thank you guys. Uh, Hopefully everybody has a great day. If you guys want to do the honors, Super IBS Kelso, Dylan, Jit, and we'll catch you in the next one. Pop up. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Peace. Peace.